Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, you might have noticed that I sound a little drowsy and off a bit. Well, a bit off, of obviously, but the reason why is because I was recently um, tested with COVID. Yes, COVID. It's fucked up. Like, recently I've been uh, tested with Omicron, so I was test positive. At least not too bad, <coughs> because um, you might as well tell that I sound a little okay, but just not entirely because I was recent. I recently got shots a few months back, but not entirely. But at least I'm feeling a little better. I just had a little cough and such. You might hear me cough in the video, so that's the thing. But yeah, um, today I'm gonna review something pretty damn rare that came in the mail today, and it's one of the rarest. I think rarest toys that are not from Baby Einstein, but rather just something that relates to it. Either way. It's really cool to actually own since it's from the 90s. Um, it is, however, kind of unique to actually own. But since I'm going to give this a shot, I actually was going to do a big review of all toys I'm getting. But unfortunately, I changed my mind on that since I don't do big uh, toy reviews anymore. But I'd rather do individual reviews instead. But yeah, um, we'll do. But if it's like common between common and rare then I'll do a two separate interview with uh like not interview but review of the toys but that doesn't that's not even what I'm talking about anyway I'm just saying as a reminder but yeah um this is one of the rarest toys I could ever like gotten in the mail today so that will be in three two one yep so basically this is called the Spintrix, which is similar to the name of the Spintrix discs from Baby Shakespeare, but it's not even a Spintrix disc. It's a Spintrix blacklight reactive toy, and which is a lot more you know interesting to think of because this is a speed up toy, I call it. And um to think of it obviously, this is not from Baby Einstein. This is rather from a from Planet Time actually. A really rare plant time that was sold at Spencer's Gifts in the 90s. Like, late 90s. <coughs> yeah, um, it's quite obvious that it's not on right now because um, it's not battery operated. It's a plug-in toy. I have the adapter that came with it right here. Um, for sure that it is really cool to own. I know I keep on saying the same thing over and over because um, I don't know what else. I can't function right now. Every day I cannot fucking function which is really stupid but that doesn't that, that's not the point but so um if you're wondering how i got this um i got it off of a website i recently discovered called glow store i've been recently texting them about this toy and some others too including the mini orbiter yes they had the mini orbiter on there a lot of people knew about that but we do not know who got it but it, this is the web so glow store is where I got this and where I include the mini orbiter for like f Like somewhere around like 500. No, not that much of a money Not not that much not like it's the thousands, but somewhere in the hundreds between four and five I, I cannot explain or cannot even discuss prices that much since I'm bad at money pronouncing But for sure that it was somewhere around there as you may tell um I just talked to them recently, like yesterday or a few days ago on Friday, that I was asking them a few questions. Yes, I was dumbingly or stupidly or stupidly being an interviewer to them about the mini orbiter, if there was ever an original box for it or not. And they texted me back and replied to me and they said there was in the in like it's an original box. So I thought it was the nineteen nineties one, in which it would have been, but we don't know yet because I, it's in, it, they found it in like in a warehouse of some sort in their area. Yeah, but it's a really long story either way. But, um, since what was more shocking about that is that this came in three days because it's in my state in which is Santa Ana, which is down south, which I am down south. Santa Ana is like in the Orange County area, which is part of the, like past the big city of Los Angeles where I'm up north of it. And while this is in my state, which is pretty close, uh, the Mini Orbiter was there too at their warehouse, which was fun. 
or just fun to learn, I guess, but, yeah, so, um, they gave me, actually, they, they actually gave me really nice things, and they were really nice to talk to through Facebook Messenger, because, um, you know, obviously, I was talking through there, um, they were pretty nice about everything I've gotten, I still have the package box in the garage, but for sure that it is going to be thrown away eventually. And what was really cool about that box was that they had their own sticker label and then their own tape labels and whatnot, which made it more interesting. But since that's going to be thrown out, it doesn't have to be cared for. But yeah, so basically this right here is not a glow in the dark, obviously, because I've always thought Blacklight Reactor was always glow in the dark type thing, but it's not. But since this is more um, interesting to think of, because... This is by Planet Time, in which I talked to him about this one item that Baby Einstein was mispronouncing in their toy chest when the mini orbiter was by Planet Time. But this was that was another orbiter, which was a really rare kinetic I found on Worth Point at some point. Which I don't know why I'm mentioning, but for sure that I should get into the box review now. But yeah, they mentioned that like this is by Planet Time. While that other mini orbiter similarity from Planet Time was thought to be by Planet Time for the mini orbiter from, you know, the Baby Einstein videos, while the mini orbiter from Planet Planet Time was um, more likely to be from, you know, Planet Time's company. I don't know from Rabbit Tanaka actually. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, <coughs> um, yeah, um, for sure that. I will show the box right now, and if you're wondering what the box looks like, um, here's the box. Yeah, it's pretty messed up and damaged because it's pretty old, but they have tape on here, which is pretty weird, and it actually comes with a, um, it actually never came with a blacklight poster inside. Oh, wait, it never came with a blacklight poster, unfortunately, but, and because of that, I spent too much mo too much money on this since it was like around like two, I don't know something something hundred. I have no idea. It's not like it's in the thousands, but it's somewhere around the hundreds of the two two hundreds. I guess I don't know, but for sure that it was somewhere around there. Um, the box is damaged a bit, but since it's in great condition, it never came with the blacklight poster. Uh, most other ones in great condition do, and. Yeah, here's the side right here, which is pretty cool. That's what it looks like in black. It looks that's what it looks like in action. Oops, I had to take this off. Um, sorry, this thing right here just somehow got there. And yeah, I ripped it, but it doesn't matter. It's an old box anyway. But that's what it looks like right here, as you can tell. Um, it's a cool background. It says it was exclusive at Spencer's, and it says Planet Time right there in their official. I believe in their official logo right there. It says a Plan Time production created by Daniel Marinovo, Mar Marinovo, a Marinov, I think, and the Slaves of Trend. Yeah, and here's the bottom. It says um, extra d heavy duty mo motor for high performance. This is not a toy to keep away from children under 12. Yeah. Spencer's Gifts, Made in China, yeah, it's it's a long thing with this, but this is what it looks like, and when it came, it smelled like the 90s, yes, I smell boxes a lot, because I've always liked the sense of smells of boxes, but, yeah, if you're wondering what the inside looks like, let me just do this real quick. Okay, so... Um, this is what the inside looks like. It's pretty damaged, but I don't care. It has all of its original contents of, like, of the wrapping bubbles and whatnot. I don't know. But for sure that it is an awesome box. I like it. It says Spintrix, so that's cool. But yeah. Um, there it goes. And, and now we're gonna go back to this. Yeah. And here it came with a um, an AC adapter, which is pretty cool. It's not a battery-operated toy, obviously, as you can tell from the bottom. Here's the power switch right here, the button, obviously. And then you can take this off like this, 
Yep, there's the base. And the base is pretty similar overall to the Hoberman Spear uh, Black Light Reactive, which is not even by Spencer's, but I think exclusive to Spencer's at some point. But with the same base, however, we don't know. But yeah, this is quite awesome. I just, you know, that's all I could say. And this can come off as well, but I feel like I don't want to. But that's fine. And they were nice enough to actually bring three things to me in the mail too. And that includes the wave machine kind of thing. The wave um, thing right here, which it says wavemotionmachines.com. Which is basically, you know, wave paperweight little for your backpack, which I'll put on my backpack for sure. It's pretty cool. I like it. And here's a little black like react black light reactive type thing. As you can tell, it looks like it can be black light on here. I don't know, but for sure that this might be a black light uh, key key thing. I don't know. They actually get they were actually nice enough as well to give me a card for their you know items. It says rare and vintage lighting from lighting from their seventies, ladies. I mean eighties, nineties, and early two thousands. Not ladies. I'm sorry. That's so stupid. They were what's actually cool about it is that it says use code glow ten. So that's awesome. Um, I'll probably link to um, the company or yeah the the warehouse company to um like in the link below in my description. Yeah, hopefully I'll link it to their Facebook and their shop. So if you're wanting to get this, well I believe Sir Mountains is getting this. I don't know. It's anonymous, but for sure that um, someone might get it, but since it's quite awesome, not even close to what I'm thinking it is for resembling of the Mini Orbiter, but it's fine at least since it's on their website still. They have one more left, and which is like a beaten up box of it. I think they got me the beaten up box of it. I don't know which one I got in the beaten up, but for sure it has something. Um, yeah, so... <coughs> If you guys are wondering what it looks like in action, I'll plug this in for a second. I'll be right back. Alright, so I got that done with. I just plugged in already over here, but yeah. So if you're wondering what it looks like in action, here we go. In three, two, one. Yeah, this thing's awesome, but since it um, wobbles a bit, which might might break, I don't know. But I have to put it on a, on a very safe spot of it. But this is what I can do. Yes, it circles like that for absolutely, for some weird reason, but what I always have to do is make sure that this doesn't, you know, fall or something, but it's the best that I can do. Um, let's try this. Yeah, you can see a bit of black light in it, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. It's awesome. This thing is awesome either way if it's in the dark and black light. It's pretty awesome, actually. So I'm hoping that will give a raise. But yeah. What's interesting enough to think of is that I have I just noticed this piece right here. And I look at it. And I keep on thinking it's from the, the Mini Orbiter. Which may be from the Mini Orbiter. This piece right here. And which I noticed for the first time of it. Which is cool. But... Then again, it's nothing like from Baby Mozart. It's just this piece that looks like it from there, but it's not. But yeah, that was quite an interview, or a review, obviously, but since that everything comes to mind, I hope you guys like this video, and I will link the Glow Store shop down below in the, the description, and their Facebook too, and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye.